Welcome friends. In video number 1404, Mike has shown you the summary table to be created using Excel formulas. He has used some if functions, then count ifs, max ifs again within that, and a simple division over here. He has also shown you some of the another count ifs and aggregate functions and created this summary. So these are little complex formulas through which he has created this summary. In this video, I will be showing you how to create this entire summary using the Power Query. I won't be taking you through individual steps wise, but I will briefly tell you how I have created this summary using a Power Query. So let me go to the Data tab and click Show Queries. So I have loaded this both the tables like dates and work days and order date into Power Query. So let me open my query window. And let me expand this. So first table over here, you can see the source was the sales table. Now as a next step, I have just changed the type of the columns, then inserted the end of the month column over here. Then I have grouped the sales by end of the month so that it will have only one row for one particular month. Then I inserted the start of the month and reordered the columns. So that's it I have done for this first table, which is sales. The second table, I have loaded that and changed the type over here to appropriate dates. Again, I have inserted the end of the month over here. Then I have filtered the data only for the work days and I have grouped this individual day by month wise and the number of work days are being calculated over here. So that is for the second table. Then I have merged both of this sales table and date table based on the end of the month column. So let me go to this summary tab and as a source over here, you can see this has been merged based on the sales table and date on the end of the month using a left outer join. Then I have just expanded and brought in the count of days. Then I inserted the divisions for total sales divided by count of days to get sales per day. I just renamed it. Next step was rounding of that sales per day to two decimal places. Then I have inserted end of the year column over here and I have renamed that step as day sales. Then I have grouped this particular step using end of the year date to get the total year sales and total count of days for that particular year. I inserted a division so that I get a sales per day formula rounded off it to two decimal places and then I have just renamed this particular step to year sales. Now I have appended day sales and year sales over here. So over here in appended query you can see table dot combined day sales and year sales have been combined. Then I inserted the start of the year based on the start of the month added a conditional column to get the start date. So this conditional column you can see start of the month if it is a equal to null then the start of the year else start of the month. So that over here wherever there is a null it will take start of the year date else it will take start of the month. Same way I inserted the one more conditional column to get the end date. Then I just re removed certain columns, reordered the columns and change the types. So this way I created the entire summary using Power Query. You can see that I have used the, all the user interface and I have not inserted any of the manual custom columns or custom M functions in this. And I've just loaded back to this particular sheet over here. So this is exactly the same summary which Mike has created using Excel formulas. So if you want to understand more about Power Query, you can enroll into my Power Query course which I have published on Udemy. I have given the link in description video over here. So this is my Power Query entire course, which is for 4.5 hours. It will have a full lifetime access to you. I will be also updating new videos continuously on this course. So subscribe quickly. That's it from my side, guys. See you next time.